Adobe released 19 new effects and transitions for Premiere Pro, and we're going to have a look at my 10 favorite ones. This latest addition is a direct result of Adobe listening to us, to the creative community. So all these new effects and transitions are here because you and me, we asked for it. Thanks Adobe for listening and for teaming up on this video. Let's dive right into it. To easily access the new effects and transitions, go to Window, Extensions and Film Impact Dashboard. And the first effect I want to show you is under Lights and Blurs FX. And here you can find the volumetric raise FX. Just select your clip and click Apply. Now you can adjust, for example, the intensity. This is how strong the light rays will be visible. With highlights only, you can control which luminance area will be affected. You can also click on light position and find this blue circle. This is how you can change the direction of the rays. Choose the color picker, go to the most saturated area and that's how your light rays will look exactly like the sky. The default blend mode is additive, but it depends on your scene what looks best, either additive or screen. This effect works best when you have a specific area in your video which is really bright. Because here for example, if the ocean would be really bright as well, the rays would start from the ocean too. So that wouldn't work. But here we have one specific area on the right side, so it looks really, really good. The next effect is perfect for you if you forget your Pro Mist filter. All you have to do is click on your clip and select Edge Glow FX. I go to Apply and this is what it does. It softens the edges between really bright and dark areas, like here. I will just increase the intensity and also here we can control the highlights a bit more. You can also adjust the color again and then increase the colorize value. So if you want like the sunset color, we can also pick the color right here and it will look really realistic. Just a little tip, there's the effect Wonder Glow FX, which is pretty similar. So if you don't like the result of the Edge Glow FX, make sure to try Wonder Glow and the other way around. One of the both effects will look pretty good when you have these contrasty luminance areas in your videos. The next effect is really interesting for you if you have a stable clip, but you want to make it look more action packed. So this clip, for example, is pretty smooth. It's been shot on a gimbal, but it would be nice to add some more action. So what I'm going to do is go to Effects, Motion FX and to Camera Shake. Click Apply. It will zoom in a bit, but also add some shakes. This of course also works on drone clips. Oh, here it could look really nice. Looks like an earthquake. Next up, the bulky blur effect. I don't know where it is, but we can look for it right here. Okay, let's apply this one. And you can see the blur it adds really looks like realistic bulky. So we could draw a mask around my face, make it a bit bigger, increase the feather and invert it. Just like that, increase the feather even more. And now you have some really nice blur, which adds a more artistic look. Because of course it doesn't look fully real as long as, as we use just a circle mask, but it gives a really nice and dreamy look. Now let's combine it with something. We also have vignetting, which is a basic effect that we know from the Lumetri color, but we will have many more controls over here. One fun thing to do is click the surprise me button. It will give you completely random vignetting, but at one point there will be something that looks so cool or you like that, for example, and then you can reduce the color, for example. Here we could reduce the saturation and also the brightness, so we get more like a dark gray. And I want to make it more visible, and that is what the mask effect is made for. Now the next effect, I also want to edit on this clip, and then I will show you another clip as well. The RGB split. 
Let's apply it. And you can see immediately it will add this really nice RGB splitting. And we can also surprise ourselves like this. That's so cool. Let's go for this. And then again, use a mask, which we can invert, feather, and we can also adjust the mask opacity. So this will increase or decrease our effect. effect. <laughs> These effects are big upgrades for Adobe Premiere. Do you want to make something look like a game? Then wait for this effect. We can use this clip right here for it. And we're looking for the focus blur. Apply it. And now we adjust the focus type to tilt shift and decrease the height. And once the top and bottom of our video looks blurry, it looks like we're in a miniature world. We can also adjust the center point. That's so cool. The next effect is super intense, but I just have to show it to you because it can really look good on some scenes. Now it's called Echo Glow FX. And the best thing you can do with this effect is to click the surprise me button. Because I promise you, every time it will look completely different. And out of nowhere, you will figure out a completely different and new style. I just can't stop playing around with this. No, 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 back. I like it. I like this one. Looks so dreamy again. And then there are so many new transitions. You can play around with them, but I want to show you my favorite one, which was pretty much effort beforehand, but now it's integrated into Premiere Pro and so adjustable. It's called Light Leak Impacts. You drag and drop it just between two of your clips. This is what it'll look like. So easy. And the best thing is it's so customizable. So for example, I don't want so many colors. I can just go for a single color. And with the hue shift, I can adjust the color. Look at this. Yeah, that's better, but not perfect. But that's where the surprise me button <laughs> comes in. And you see, it's gonna get crazy and really cool. Yeah, look at that. Of course, you can also make the effect faster. Just add a sound effect and it will be so cool and so easy to create. Last transition is the 3D roll. This can be pretty cool sometimes as well. Look at that. Yeah, this one is a bit too much for this clip, but again, it's so customizable. First of all, I want to make it shorter and then we can choose the edge behavior, for example, repeat or just let's just press surprise me. And let's see where this is going. Yeah, you really have to make this work with the camera movement that you're doing. So for example, if in a second clip you go to the right with your camera, you will have to make this effect go to the left. So swipe the video to the left so you go to the right. You, you get what I'm saying? That's where the magic comes in with this effect. Which one is your favorite new effect or transition? Share it in the comments. Maybe it's even one that I didn't show you. So I'm excited for your input. And I'll try to use them. Find a free trial to Premiere Pro in the description and happy editing.